hello everyone welcome to the anvil crochet in this video i'm going to show you how to crochet this cute no sew teddies these are super simple super easy project and if you have some scrap yarn you can make use of it to make this teddies and if you want a free written pattern of this no sew teddies it's available in my website the yarnballcrochet.com link for that is available in the description and if you have an instagram account do follow me on my instagram handle as well i post project updates on my instagram and if if you are new to this channel please do not forget to subscribe to the yarn bowl and click on the bell icon as well so that you get notified whenever i post a new video So these are the cute little teddies that we are going to make today. They are absolutely no sew. They are worked as in, a, in a single piece. And if you want to make use of some scrap yarn that you have, this is an excellent project. And it is a, a very easy, very simple and very quick project. And uh, let's see how to make these cute teddies. So for this project, I'm going to use premier yarns parfait chunky um, this is a very super soft and uh, bulky yarn and i'm going to choose pink color for working this uh, teddy and i'm going to use five millimeter crochet hook and you will also need some uh, safety eyes and stitch marker scissors and some polyfill so for round one i'm going to work a magic ring and uh, work six single crochets on the magic ring so here is a tip that you need to follow while working with this kind of plush yarn make sure your magic ring that that a foundation ring that you work is not too tight make uh, loose stitches on your magic ring so it will be easy when you're um, uh, like tightening the magic ring to secure it so otherwise the the yarn is going to break easily so it's better to work loose stitches around the magic ring so i'm working six single crochets on my magic ring which will be my round one after that tighten your magic ring and we're going to start our round two right away And we're going to work our round two. So for round two, I'm going to work two single crochets on each stitch around. So make sure you um, mark your first stitch with the stitch marker. To identify our row two. And then work two single crochets on your first stitch mark your first stitch with the stitch marker and proceed working two single crochets on each stitch around so at the end of round two you should have 12 single crochet stitches So for round 3, I am going to work 1 single crochet on each stitch, which I will work for 3 stitches. I am just marking my first stitch with a stitch marker and then I will work 1 single crochet each on next 2 stitches as well. And for the next stitch, I am going to work a bobble stitch. I am going to yarn over, insert my hook on the stitch pull up a loop you have three loops on the hook yarn over pull through only two loops and then I'm gonna yarn over insert my hook pull up a loop yarn over pull through two loops only and then yarn over insert my hook on the same stitch pull up a loop yarn over pull through two loops only so and then I'm gonna repeat that one more time which will be four double crochet bobble I should have five loops on my hook and then I'll yarn over pull through all the five loops together and then in the next three stitches after working my bobble stitch 
I am going to work two single crochet on the same stitch. So make sure you pull the bobble so that you don't have any other stitch un under the bobble. Sometimes you might miss a stitch. So make sure you don't ho have any stitches hiding inside your bobble stitch. And then I have worked two single crochet on each stitch for three stitches. And then I am going to work my next bobble on the next stitch. This first bobble will be your first ear for the teddy and the next bobble that I am going to work now will be my next ear. I am going to yarn over, insert my hook on the stitch, pull up a loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two loops only and then I am going to repeat that three more times until I have five loops on my hook. You'll all the time you'll only loop through two loops only until you have five loops on the hook and then yarn over pull through all the loops together and then in the last stitches I'm gonna work one single crochet on each stitch so I have worked one single crochet on each stitch on my last four stitches so you should have 15 stitches at the end of this round three for round four it's going to be simple I'm just going to work one single crochet on each stitch around make sure you mark your first stitch with a stitch marker and then proceed working one single crochet on each stitch around you should still have 15 stitches at the end of this round. I'll meet you at the end of round 4. So I have worked my round 4, before that I will just uh, snip off this extra piece of yarn and tighten it and secure it with a knot. Now we are going to work round 5, in this round we will be working the nose for the teddy. So we are going to work one single crochet on each stitch for first 7 stitches. Make sure you mark your first stitch with a stitch marker and work one single crochet on each stitch for 7 stitches. You know you have 15 stitches. So we work one single crochet on each stitch for 7 stitches now and then on the 8th stitch we will work our bobble stitch. Out 4 double crochet bobble stitch. I am going to yarn over, insert my hook on the stitch. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops and repeat that three more times until you have five loops on your hook. Once you have five loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through all the five loops. We have worked our bobble. We should have seven more stitches left. In all those seven stitches, work one single crochet on each stitch. The center bobble that we worked right now will be the nose for the teddy. I'm just working one single crochet on each of these next remaining seven stitches. Make sure no stitches are hidden under the bobble stitch and you do not miss any stitch. Make sure you count the number of stitches. It should come down to 15 stitches. Now let's work round six. So for round 6, we will just do decrease, I am going to work 1 single crochet in 1 stitch and single crochet 2 together in next 2 stitches round. I am going to work 1 single crochet in 1 stitch and single crochet 2 together in next 2 stitches and I am going to repeat this pattern around. Make sure you do not forget to mark your first stitch with a stitch marker. So working decrease brings down your stitch count to 10 stitches so always make sure you count the number of stitches at the end of your rounds so 
so I'm gonna work my last single crochet and then single crochet two together in next two rounds sorry next two stitches so make sure you count the number of stitches it should be 10 stitches now let's start working round seven for round seven we are going to increase so i'm going to work one single crochet in one stitch mark your stitch with the stitch marker and then work two single crochet on the same stitch on the next stitch this we are going to start working the body for the teddy that's why we are doing an increase i'm going to work one single crochet in one stitch and then two single crochet on the same stitch on the very next stitch repeat this pattern around one single crochet in one stitch two single crochet on the same stitch on the next stitch repeat this pattern around you should have 15 stitches again at the end of this round make sure you count the number of stitches at the end of the round you should have 15 stitches now you're going to work round 8 on the round 8 we'll work the hands or the front limbs for your teddy before working round 8 let me just attach my safety eyes on either side of my nose of the teddy make sure they are a little bit hidden inside the nose and then I'll start working round 8 so now for round 8 I'm going to work one single crochet on each stitch for 5 stitches mark your first stitch with the stitch marker and then work one single crochet on each stitch for five stitches and then after you work that work one bobble yarn over insert your hook on the stitch pull up a loop yarn over pull through two loops only and repeat that three more times until you have five loops on the hook and then once you have five loops on the hook yarn over pull through all the five loops this will be your first front limb of or the teddy and then you, you're going to work one single crochet on each stitch for the next five stitches make sure none of your stitches are hidden inside the bobble and you don't miss any stitches you're going to work your next front limb for the teddy which will be your next bobble stitch you're going to do the same thing that we did for the first bobble yarn over insert your hook on the stitch pull up a loop yarn over pull through two loops only and then repeat that three more times until you have five loops on the hook And then yarn over pull through all the five loops together you should have four stitches left I'm just digging in to find the one stitch that is hidden behind the bobble stitch and then I have three more stitch I'm just gonna work one single crochet on each stitch on my last four stitches so make sure the stitch count remains same you should have 15 stitches at the end of this round And then for the next two rounds round 9 and round 10 I'm just going to work one single crochet on each stitch around so for round 9 and 10 we're just going to work one single crochet on each stitch around I'm marking my first stitch with the stitch marker and then I'll work one single crochet on each stitch around this is my round 9 I'm just working one single crochet on each stitch around I 
and then for round 10 also I am going to do the same thing just gonna work one single crochet on each stitch around mark your first stitch with the stitch marker and then repeat the same make sure you count the number of stitches at the end of each round so then at end of round 10 also you're gonna have the stitch count as 15 stitches Now we are going to start working our round 11 in which we will work our hind limbs. So I am just going to work one single crochet on each stitch for 5 stitches. I am just marking my first stitch with a stitch marker and then I am going to work one single crochet on each stitch for the next 4 stitches as well. And then after that I am going to work one bobble stitch. I am going to yarn over, insert my hook on this stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops only and I am going to repeat this three more times until I get five loops on my hook and then I am going to yarn over, pull through all the five loops. So I have worked my first hind limb and then I am going to work one single crochet on each stitch for five stitches. just working one single crochet on each stitch for five stitches and then I'm going to work my next hind limb which will be the next bobble stitch after I work the bobble stitch I'm going to work one single crochet on each stitch on my last three stitches I'm just going to work one single crochet on each stitch on my last three stitches. One, two, three. That's the end of round 11. We're almost done. Just two more rounds left to finish off the steady. For round 12 I am going to work one single crochet in one stitch and I am going to work single crochet two together in next two stitches and I am going to repeat this pattern around. This is a decrease, I am just working one single crochet in one stitch and single crochet two together in next two stitches. So I should have 10 stitches at the end of this round. After this round we can go ahead stuff your work with polyfill and we'll work our last round. So make sure you have stitch count as 10 stitches at the end of this round. And after this go ahead stuff your work with polyfill. Make sure you stuff enough on your head to give it a good shape and then come up with the body. So now that the stuffing is done, I will work my last round. My last round is nothing but working single crochet two together in every two stitches around. So this should bring down my stitch count to 5 stitches. Make sure you mark your first stitch with a stitch marker and proceed working. Single crochet 2 together in every 2 stitches around. Just working single crochet 2 together in every 2 stitches around. Now 
now you should still see a gap I'm just gold holding the two stitches on opposite end and working two slip stitches to close this gap and you should be done snip off the yarn work slip stitch and then uh, I'll be using a blunt tip of a metal crochet hook to tuck in this odd bit of yarn inside the amigut me itself that's it we are done with the teddy I'm just giving it a shape so this took me less than 30 minutes to work this teddy and if you have some scrap plush yarn and if you are wondering what to do this is a perfect project to work uh, with those scrap yarns they they work in no time and you can make plenty of these for market as well and if you want a free written pattern of these snow suit teddies it's available on my website the .com. and if you do have a instagram account please do not forget to follow me on my instagram handle as well and if you are new to this channel please do not forget to subscribe to the yarn bowl and click on the bell icon as well thanks for watching bye